Hey, today we're going to talk about a quick overview over NetApp disk shelves. We're going to cover four topics, which is going to be models, compatibility matrix, cabling, and pricing. So as you probably already know, there's lots of different NetApp disk shelves, and they've been out for uh, five to ten years, upgrading different types of filers and controllers. Uh, we've got the DS14, MK4s, and MK2s, which are rather old, but still in production. And then we've got the more recent 4243s, 4246s, 2246s, and 4486s. As you can tell, uh, these shelves, the 2246s, are using the small form factor drives, and the 4243s, 46s, and 86s use the regular style drives. Uh, the 4486 over here on your right, this is really a high density shelf that holds SATA drives, uh, 48 drives on the front and the back, and basically um, is used for archiving or backup or just your uh, low performance type applications. Uh, the 4243 is typically your most versatile because it holds fiber channel, SATA, and um, SAS drives and uh, SSDs. So you really can um, add a lot of different types of drives inside of the uh, inside of that shelf. The 2246 uh, is a little bit different than holds SATA drives and your high capacity uh, SAS drives. And the 2246 holds just 10k drives, but lots of them, 24 drives and a smaller footprint, so you essentially can stack 48 drives in a 4U footprint. If you think about upgrading a filer, uh, the cool thing about NetApp is most of the shelves go with every single filer and they really transfer around. We've got customers that use uh, DS14 and K4s and uh, intermix it with DS4243s on separate loops. So you'll find this documentation online that shows you the compatibility between these different uh, shelves and the filers they support, but most of the documentation is going to be for the latest technology, so you really need to talk to an expert who can help coach you through the older systems and what kind of um, shelves that go with those systems as well. But the good thing is most shelves go with most of the filers. Uh, this is just a quick example uh, to show you that uh, there's different uh, amounts of shelves you can have per loop or per stack and it really comes into play when you start looking at cabling because as you can see here this uses SAS cables and this uses fiber channel cables but there's literally hundreds of ways you can cable a NetApp filer because you can have one or more shelves and you can have different types of configurations like a single controller configuration or multipath HA configuration um, and there's other configurations as well so depending on how you plan on expanding your filer, growing it, scaling it and the type of shells you're using will predicate what type of ca cabling configuration you're going to use. And quite frankly, this is probably one of the most confusing things about NetApp disk shelves is the, the cabling setup. So you want to make sure you talk to an expert about your options and how you plan to grow so you can set it up properly. When you look at uh, pricing, uh, NetApp's SKUs are kind of hard to understand because you've got uh, these different product codes here and they're all different disk shells with different types of drives and numbers of drives. And typically, if you go to quote from NetApp or Avar, they're going to show you this, this kind of code and these uh, extrapolated uh, uh, descriptions, which is a disk shelf and 24 3 terabyte drives, and there's their 7,000 RPM, there's SATA drives, and they use different types of connections. But um, it's kind of difficult to understand what these are, but basically, in a nutshell, these product codes are a shelf and a certain number and type of disk drives. If we look at pricing, uh, you can find online GSA pricing for NetApp disk shelves, and um, this is just a couple of quick examples for DS4243s, which are a very common disk shelf. Um, the list price of this uh, 600 gig disk shelf is just about $50,000, $48,000, and if you bought it new on a GSA contract, you'd pay somewhere around uh, $40,000 for this disk shelf. The same certified uh, used a uh, disk shell from Reliant would be roughly around $9,500 for one of these shelves. So you can see there's a huge savings between new and used. Um, on a different type of drive, the three terabyte drives, you can also see there's a huge savings between, between new and used. So you could save all that money or you could just buy more disk shelves with the same money. So if you got the budget um, and you, the list price is again forty-eight grand, and you're going to pay somewhere around $40,000 for one disk shelf or you could buy three trays of Reliant certified used shelves and have some money left over to spare. So you really got a decision to make, you know, are you interested in saving money or do you need more shelves to satisfy the performance and capacity considerations you have for your filer? 
So if you've got any kind of questions, Reliant Technology can help. We specialize in upgrading uh, NetApp uh, uh, storage systems and filers all over the world and can help you size the right shelf, price it out, install it, configure it, cable it, and answer all your questions around NetApp technology. We also buy back NetApp systems and uh, can swap out systems to give you the right performance and capacity you need to really scale your filer. Uh, reach out to us today for a free quote or uh, just some help at sales at reliant-technology.com or our phone number listed below. Thanks again for watching the video.